What do I do? Oh God, what, what don't I do? <laughs> I'm often struggling with whether or not something wall-based becomes a painting or something sculptural becomes vice versa, a two-dimensional thing. But I think artist is probably the most happy and lacks definition for me for now. The work I'm showing in the Turner Prize is a trio of three works that were initially made for the 2015 Venice Biennale. Initially conceived of them as a kind of algorithmic installation and algorithmic in the sense that there is a chain of logic to viewing them, that they are based around a number of intersecting freestanding walls that have various sort of graphic architectural cutouts. So there is no hierarchy to the viewing. It is a kind of cyclical moment of looking at everything. I spend most of my days here in the studio. I'm lucky that I, I walk out of here on a daily basis with my fingers intact. It's rather chaotic, but there is a sort of vaguely hidden logic to that chaos. Before I even begin to touch anything or imagine anything into a work, I really spend a murderously long time plotting how it's going to behave within a certain work and just allowing myself to draw on a really wide spread of, of images that are kind of conjured by whatever I'm reading. So I feel like my work is essentially bound by this kind of dualism of image and language. When an idea is just coming into fruition, there is no kind of viable separation between those two things. The kind of miracle of having an idea is that this thing is more often than not a, a kind of ghost before you allow yourself to really think, what does it mean if I kind of shift these things around and I move that, I make a form that approximates a bottle and I put it next to something that might look like a, a tent or a bowl. As an artist, we have the luxury to kind of exploit and pervert that very basic idea of substance and ask it to behave in a naughty or sort of bastardized way. I often think that the, the sort of beauty of being an artist is that there is no policing of fantasy, that the kind of liveness of the world is never calcified by art and, and as precarious as the artist's statement is, it at least suggests a sort of provisional way forward for thinking about the world at large and that is a really exciting thing to be able to do.